Hey guys, it's me, Made of Jen, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna tag you guys along with me as I dye my hair. I'm gonna use this, the L'Oreal Paris Superior Preference Sun Kiss Caramel High Lift Ash Brown. And this is the hair dye that that's supposed to be for darker hair, so it's supposed to help lighten it, especially if you have dark colored hair. By the way, it's I don't know if you guys see the three color guys. So my roots are like this dark, but the middle of my hair is like this color. It looks like it's gonna go from a little dark to light, which is fine. <laughs> which is what I'm looking for. So I obviously have dark color hair. My hair is lighter in the bottom, and then it kind of goes into like a reddish brown. And then my roots, unfortunately, are black. So I'm gonna start at the tips and then I'm gonna work my way down. So the bottom, I'm not too worried about my bottom because my the bottom of my hair is already lighter. I'm hoping that it's, it's like an ombre kind of effect where these just look almost similar to the color in this box. I'm hoping. I have this, I bought this when I used to bleach my hair. I have a clip ready, a little bowl. And then I have a hair cap because I needed to get warm so that it could work its magic and lighten my hair. And then the little brush, I'm going to use this brush just in the tips because I know obviously this whole area right here needs the lighter part. Okay, and here is the bottle. This is the solution. And then the conditioner. Let's mix these because this needs to warm up. So if you've ever done it and you shake it and you notice that it's still clear and you're like, is it not functioning or what's going on, you need to wait for it to get warm and for it to really mix. Every last little drop. And the one thing I like about this, it, it already has this little cap. All you have to do is just clip it off and that's it. <laughs> okay, and then I'm gonna put this down really quick. I'm gonna brush my hair. Yes, I know it comes with instructions, but this thing literally says that you're supposed to do your roots for 25 minutes and then the rest of your hair after for another five minutes and then it's supposed to be 30 minutes total and then you wash it off. We work different here. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and go here, warm it up a little more. You should notice your bottle is getting warm-ish just take off the top be careful sometimes when you tilt it a little this will pump out some of the product and you don't want to do that so I'm gonna pour a little bit in here and then I'm gonna dip my brush so this is where I tend to part my hair so I'll go in here and again, if you see me go this way, my mirror is this way. And I need to see where I'm going. Make sure to go backwards and forward with the brush on both sides. Like put product on both ends. That way, you can go here and then flip it. And then we'll product again. Oh, we have to keep dipping back and forth. And again, I'm working with my hair. Blending it slowly out. So this is where my roots are pretty much black. Okay, and depending on what way you want to go, you can stay down this way and just go to your right, or you can just go down the middle. It really just depends how you want to move with it. This is how much I'm putting in. It's not a lot. And 
on this side you'll, you'll do it but you won't have to put as much product because you can already tell it's already wet from when you just did the other side. Some people say there's not enough hair dye in here. There's enough hair dye. We just gotta know how to work it. <laughs> We're gonna see right now. Obviously, my gums are y'all over here confident, and my hair is longer. Usually, if you have longer hair than me, you have to buy that second box. <laughs> there is no way around it. other side to even it out or you can finish here and then just go this way. You decide what you want to do. <laughs> My hair looks funny. Yeah. Uh -huh. good. So I'm going to go back this way and finish this side before I continue back on this side. massaging your scalp and then the back part is a little tricky obviously so for that one I'm just going to grab the actual bottle and I'm just going to go in here Come back up 
and go work on the most important part, which is where you get see. And then also, right now would be a good time for you to check if you miss anything. You can add some dot in there in case you miss something. for about 10 minutes, 15 minutes, depending on how hot it's getting. You don't want it, if it starts burning, take it off, take it off, that's your skin telling you you're allergic to it. If it burns a little, it's okay, but if it's extremely high burning where your skin, feel like it's a, your skin feels like it's about to peel off or burn off, remove it, please remove it. So, I will check in with you guys after. I'm back. It's been about 10 minutes or so. Putting my gloves back on. So you guys can see, obviously, it's getting warm, but it, you're not going to see the color. But I'm kind of starting to see the color. I can see it. It's going to get a little lighter, which is fine. And yes, I have entradas, okay? It's genetic. <laughs> Both my mom and my dad have parents. Well, my dad lost his hair. So this is the, the fun part. So pretty much, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same thing, but without the brush. Now I'm just gonna go in with this brush and just like part my hair in sections. I don't know where I'm going. Just part sections. Grab your bottle. Like the top part doesn't really matter because you just need the rest of your hair to be pretty much dyed at this point. Also be careful, this is where sensitivity is very very noticeable. My eyes, the product is starting to make my eyes feel tear-eyed. Oh, it smells so strong and it's right by my eye. <laughs> Tips I'm not too worried about. I just really need to get the product in my on my hair strands, which obviously you guys can see I did. I always twist, twist, and twist. And now I just put it like this. I go work on this side. Here, not as much here because we already worked that in, right? First thing we did. This is why also I do recommend you brush your hair before you get started. Because like in this part, these parts, you have to run your fingers kind of like through your hair. And if your hair is, you know, obviously not brushed, you're gonna have a lot of like knots and it's gonna stop you from finishing this any faster than what you're doing now, you know? Again, I'm working in sections. This one, I'm gonna just do this right here.
gonna put this here. I'm gonna do the other part of my hair. And then when I finish this portion of my hair, I'm gonna go back here and finish the tips, cover it, and we're done.
Okay guys, so it's time for me to take this off. You guys can see my hair. The bottom is going a little purple-ish. Hopefully I got it right on the mark. If not, you guys will see it. So I'm going to shower and I am going to use the conditioner that it came with. And I might use also the L'Oreal Revive Deep Conditioner just to kind of help my hair out maybe a little. And then I'm gonna blow dry my hair and then I will show you guys my results. I'll check it with you guys after. Until next time guys, 